This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Chromebook 14 G5, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on a HP Chromebook 14 G5. A couple of words before we get started. This particular unit happens to have a touch screen and outward it's identical. Just the LCD screen itself is touch enabled rather than two separate pieces where there's a glass front. So this is just one assembly and the procedure is identical but the two parts are different. Next, how to identify right model. So on the bottom it will say HP Chromebook 14. Uh, this particular one says 14-CA and that's the consumer version. The version that says sold to the schools, it will look exactly the same but the part number will be different. It will say model 14G5 and uh, it may or may not say touch on the bottom on the back but you should know just from the laptop itself. All right, um, next make sure that the laptop is turned off and I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We have a smaller PH0 electronics screwdriver. A pair of metal tweezers to re remove cables and to pry things open. A hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape. And a spudger tool to pry things open. So this lap, this lap particular model does not have uh, any screws securing the front bezel, the plastic frame, to the screen assembly. So we can just just snap the front bezel off. So to do that, uh, we want to get a grip on the inside of the bezel, and there is some adhesive that's attaching the plastic bezel to the screen assembly itself. So it's a little bit more tricky than usual. So we use our fingernails to find a good traction or good grip and when we find a good grip we start lifting up and out so you'll hear adhesive tape being released and you'll hear snapping sounds. So that's what you do. Uh, I've removed the bezel once before so it's a little bit easier second time around but first time around it's going to be a little bit harder but just take your time and if you get stuck at a certain place just go to a different spot and come back to that spot later on. So then we use the same procedure at the bottom, lift up the adhesive tape, and there is a chance that the adhesive tape may get stuck to the tape on the screen itself, so make sure that the tape, there's some adhesive tape, black tape on the screen itself, make sure that part stays with the screen. The next thing we have to do is there's a seam we have to open up on the bottom of the laptop. So you stand the laptop on its side and we use our, the metal spudger tool to open up this seam like so. And then what we want to do is open up the laptop all the way and there will be an entrance where you can use the screwdriver to pry out the bezel on this side and on this side. It's a little bit more tricky than usual but it's not too bad. So once the bezel is out we can put it to the side. Next thing is we want to remove the four screws that are securing the screen to the screen assembly. There's two at the top, the two inner screws at the top and the two inner screws at the bottom. And we use our PH1 screwdriver to do that. Make sure you get a good grip on the screwdriver, good grip on the screw to open up so you don't strip the screw itself. And that's three. And that's four. All right. Next, we lift up the screen from the screen assembly and lay it down and making sure not to touch the power button so as not to accidentally turn the laptop on. All right. Next, we disconnect this connector. 
And to do that, we lift up the adhesive tape with our X-Acto knife. And this one is a little bit more tricky than usual. But we keep going. Okay, and when we finally gain traction on it, we peel the tape back until we gain access to the connector. And then what we want to do is pull back the connector so it disengages. When we reconnect it, what we want to do is slide it back in until we feel but not hear two clicks. And this is what a properly engaged connector looks like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. All right, so now let's take a look at this screen. Once we have good focus, this is a 14.0 inch EDP uh, touch screen. So what that means is that the touch layer is embedded inside the LCD assembly. And uh, there's an easy way to tell if it's a touch screen or not a touch screen. A touch screen will have a 40 pin connector. If you count the number of pins here, there will be 40. A non-touch screen will have a narrower 30 pin connector and also the part number for it will be different. The part number for uh, this particular screen is N140BGN-E42. So that's the part number you can use to look up this screen. The touch screen and the non-touch screen are not interchangeable because of the different size of connector, so make sure you know which one you're ordering. The other thing to note is that this particular screen does have a glossy finish and you might want to specify a glossy finish for your screen. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons have both the touch version and the non-touch version available. And um, this laptop is used for schools frequently, and we work with schools frequently for, to provide screens, and we, have, we do offer volume discounts and additional technical support. To buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com and type in the model number and the search will come up. If you do work with a school, there's a link at the top of the webpage that says schools and there will be a form for you to fill out to tell us which screen you want. And uh, also, the screens do come with this exact same toolkit that I use for free with every screen and we do have uh, free shipping in the United States. All right, uh, once you do get the screen in, make sure that the connector matches up and the location matches up. Reconnect the connector like I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on. And then after that, you will need to push it down to go past the hinge covers. All right, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.